for church. Why do you not text me? Sorry, I'm running like very late. Would you like to say hi to the vlog? Oh, howdy. We'll say something. Vlog, uh, like and subscribe. Woo! I'm sweating. Good morning, y'all. It is a Sunday morning. I just went to church. Then I did like growth track after, which is like um, my church's thing to kind of get you plugged in and then you get a connect group. So I'm excited. I'm finally gonna get into a small group, which I've been wanting to do for so long. I don't know what day you're gonna be watching this on, but whatever day you're watching on, I hope you have a great day and I hope you have a good start to your week. I'm gonna show you kind of what I do on Sundays, pretty much every Sunday to like set myself up for success and stay on top of my goals. I feel like when you prep, you're more likely to stay on track and you're more likely to reach your goals. So that's exactly what I try and do on Sundays. It's like everything that I need to do to prepare for the week, I do. One of the main things that I need to do is go get groceries and I want to show you kind of the healthy snacks I pick out and well, like what I prep what I don't prep because I don't really meal prep but having certain things ready if you know what I'm saying? Very helpful. Also, I really want to go for a run, but it is so hot. So I think I'm going to do a hit workout instead at the gym. Dude, it's literally 95 degrees, but it feels like 105. Yeah. I'm dying. I tried on this new lip color today because I never do lips. Kind of a vibe. I don't know. It's kind of weird looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, who is this girl? Just wanted to say good morning. Okay, before I head out to the grocery store, I have to make a grocery list because I'm very scatterbrained sometimes. Got it. Okay, honestly, I feel like the most commonly said thing when it comes to like prepping or meal prepping the week or like if you're on a diet or if you're just trying to live a healthy lifestyle, whatever it is, I feel like the most common thing that people complain about is like the time and effort that goes into it. And listen up here. I'm just gonna give you some tough love really quick. Anything that you want that's like a goal or an achievement that you want could be like not even related to health and fitness like this kind of just is about life but if there's like anything that you want to achieve it's gonna take some sacrifice and it's gonna take some discipline if you don't want to like put in the work to either like prep some things or go and buy healthy meals and like invest into your health or get up an hour or two earlier and go get that workout in if you can't squeeze it in after work whatever it is it's gonna make you uncomfortable like that's how you grow so i'm just saying if you really are like wanting something you'll put in the work to get it you know what i'm saying and that you know what i feel like people will get annoyed by that but guess what that's just life that's how it goes baby so we're gonna go to the grocery store and we're gonna get a bunch of healthy fruits and vegetables this isn't gonna be like a huge grocery haul because I still have some stuff left over from last last week but I will show you like healthy snackies and little things also you guys are probably wondering where Bronson is um Bronson has been having to work on weekends lately so that's why you haven't seen him in any of my vlogs kind of sucks I'm gonna be honest but he has like Monday Tuesday Wednesday off he works like Thursday through Sunday so not great but we're 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 getting through it okay Got the grocery store is like a madhouse on Sundays. That was so hard. Now it's time for a big old grocery haul. I got out some of the old groceries that I had left over from last week and I'm just like putting them all out so you can see kind of what a bigger week would look like for me and also just to give you meal ideas. I think I'm just gonna do the grocery haul now and then a little later I'll show you like how I prep certain stuff that I got. So let me show you everything that I got. Okay, I kind of want to start with protein. I pretty much stick to these four main sources of protein. You don't get these every week, but I just had some leftover of the frozen stuff and these two I did get this week. So I'll, I'll just kind of show you all of it. This week I got 99% lean ground turkey. I love this because you can literally just fry it up. I usually do it until it's like 
pretty crispy and like almost blackened. And then I store it in Tupperware and that way it's just super easy to like scoop out. Chicken breasts, you can do the same thing with like you just prep a bunch of chicken and then you can like shred it and keep it in like a little Tupperware container in the fridge. And then you just pull some out whenever you want a chicken sandwich or a wrap or a bowl or whatever you want. These two, if you like seafood, I highly recommend getting like a big bag of frozen shrimp. This is like a little bit more expensive than if you were to buy like chicken or ground turkey, but it lasts me at least two weeks. I have been obsessed with cod lately. I'm pretty sure I told you guys in another vlog. It's just a super lean fish and it's high in protein. And I feel like you can just eat a ton of this and like it's basically just pure protein. So I love, love, love doing cod. So I wanna move on to like the fruits and vegetables. This is where a bulk of my food comes in and where a bulk of my snacking comes in. I love these little tiny bell peppers for like snacking. And I usually get them with a like a high protein dip. So I try and do like a chicken style dip. I love anything buffalo flavored. So so I got this one and it's really good. I pretty much throw bell peppers and onions into almost every single one of my recipes. I also really love squash and zucchini. I just didn't get any this week. I also got like a ton of cucumbers. I got these mini baby cucumbers because I like to put these in wraps and I'll slice them like long ways. And then I like got two big cucumbers because that's weird looking. I got two big cucumbers because I like to like dip them and stuff. So I'll either dip them in this dip. Sometimes I'll just eat them with salt and do like a salt and vinegar with tomato, like a little, I don't really know, like a mixture type deal. <laughs> Why could I not think of the word mixture? You guys know I always get avocados. This week I got three avocados because I have one left over from last week. I always put these in almost all of my meals, almost all of them. They're a really good source of healthy fat. So I just like to put a little bit into each of my meals. So I think you guys know that about me already. If you've been watching my channel, you know how obsessed I am with avocados. Is it a problem? A little bit, but it's fine. I've been doing some arugula for the base of pretty much all of my bowls lately. So I got a big thing of this. I get the Sara Lee Delight bread. I meant to get the whole wheat, but I got the white one this time, which is fine. Either one works. I'll do this for avocado toast in the morning. And I don't usually get a ton of fruit just because I'm really bad about when I get fruit, I just let it go to waste. No, it's bad of me, but I have been like loving strawberries and I've been on a real banana kick lately. I don't know what's up with me because normally I don't like bananas that much. Like nothing against bananas. Like they're fine. They're just not my go-to fruit of choice. I'm more of like a juicy, watery fruit girl rather than like bananas are kind of like, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe a banana. You guys have had all had a banana, so I'm not even gonna try. One of my go-to desserts is this Too Good yogurt. It only has two grams of sugar in it and it's really high in protein. You guys know I try to stick to like high protein snacks. This is so good, especially if you put a scoop of peanut butter in it as well, that's even more protein. If you were, you know, good thing, because if a killer came in, I could totally see him. I was like, oh my God, who is there? I got nervous. Oh my God, my hair's so slick back. Okay, next, I keep a... Uh, But I have been loving strawberries lately, especially when they're like ice cold in the fridge. So I cut up and prepped these like middle of the week last week and they're still good. So I've been snacking on those, putting them in yogurt. That's a really healthy, easy snack. You guys know how much I love Celsius. So I haven't been able to find the wild berry flavor anywhere. So I found them and so I bought two packs of that. Okay, Vanessa, when I went to visit Gymshark, she told me about these Yerba Mates and apparently like everybody in California drinks them. I've never heard of this, so I wanted to try that. You know, I'm always down to try a new energy drink. Primal Kitchen makes the best healthy dressings and stuff because that's where a lot of people can go wrong. Dressings have like a lot of added sugar and just a lot of added stuff that you don't need. So Primal Kitchen uses like very minimal ingredients. It's, I just love their stuff. Like I'm a big fan. The buffalo sauce, so good y'all. This is highly recommended. 
And then the, I put ranch. I'm on a big ranch kick right now, so I got some of their ranch. Okay, this Vita Coco vitamin or Vita Coco. Buy the cocoa coconut water. Okay, it's like a goal of mine to like coconut water because I know it's good for you. I know it has like a ton of electrolytes and stuff. So I'm like, you gotta just try it because I didn't like Topo Chico and I kind of had to like make myself like it and now I love it. So I feel like I can do the same thing with coconut water. It's been so hard, y'all. It tastes like so, it tastes like shampoo. Like it tastes gross. So I'm really trying to get myself, but you guys said the Vita Coco on my Instagram was a lot better than the other brand that I was using. So I'm gonna try this. I also got the peach and mango flavor, which I feel like that might make it a little more bearable. Also, apparently you're supposed to drink it like in like ice cold. If it's not ice cold, it's not good at all. I don't know. I'll let y'all know if I get on the coconut water train, but it's not looking good so far. Okay, I think Reagan and I are gonna go tan at the pool and hang out. What are you eating? I found these. <laughs> oh yeah, Bronson bought those Gushers last night when we were watching a movie and he ate like almost the entire box. I was like, I used to hate Gushers, but these How could you so hate good. Gushers? I didn't like like the weird. No, Gushers sport. were like my favorite. Also fruit roll-ups. Fruit roll-ups. Yeah, I know. Mm. They're like the same basically, but. Uh, Reagan and I are gonna go tan by the pool a little bit. It's, it's like really popping out there. So when I come back, I'll show you kind of how I like prep things and like a few little healthy snack ideas. So see you guys in a little bit. Look who's here! Strong oh, boy yeah, with a sandwich. So I told them about how you're having to work every weekend. Yeah. I'm having a positive attitude, and if I say anything about it, okay. that's gonna ruin my positive attitude. Okay, straight. yeah, yeah, but I do miss you on the weekends. I miss you too, but I can't say anything else about work okay. because. Well, we won't talk about it. Then I'll have a negative attitude. Okay. Eat your sandwich, boy. Along with having a lot of healthy food and doing all my healthy grocery shopping on Sunday, I also like to like clean my room, clean my sheets, do all my laundry, put away all my laundry. So I just did that. I didn't film it, sorry, but I'll show you my closet because it's so satisfying when it's all done. So I just put everything away, put it all in the drawers, everything, all my Gymshark leggings, bras. This is also some new Gymshark stuff that is coming out very, very soon. I'm so excited. They came out with cotton shorts. That's actually what I'm wearing today. These cotton shorts, they are so cute. I've just been like living in them. I got them in black, gray, white, and then this purple color. And then I also got these sweatshirts. I'll do another try on in a different vlog for y'all. But my holy grail sports bra, they're all coming back. The bando sports bras, y'all. I literally live in these. These are what got me obsessed with Gymshark in the first place, and they're coming back. They haven't been in stock in over a year. <gasps> I'm so pumped and excited for y'all to see everything, so. I have gotta take a shower. I'm looking crusty. I'm gonna show you everything that I have prepped so far that's just kind of like in my fridge, and then we'll go through and we'll prep like the protein and bell peppers. I don't have a ton to prep today just because I've already done a lot of it from last week. So here are those strawberries that I was talking about. I got sent a big thing of dates, so I just keep them in the fridge and just grab one for a snack every now and then. Um, also, here's just some blueberries that I keep right here. I I also have these bell peppers that I keep right next to the dip that I was telling you about. That's just super easy to grab, like a super quick and easy snack. All of my energy drinks right there. And then I just keep all of my vegetables just literally floating, like very unorganized in there. But what we're gonna be prepping today is I'm gonna be cooking the ground turkey and just keeping that in Tupperware and then the chicken. And then I just wanna cut up a few of these, like kind of dice them so they're a lot easier to put into my bowls and my salad. He heard baby and he got jealous.
I'll let that cool down for a second before I put it in the freezer. I mean fridge. <laughs> you're not even. <laughs> you're not even doing anything, are you? <laughs> Okay, so everything is prepped and ready to go. I just need to put it in the fridge. Ranger! I know myself well enough to know that if I don't prep food like this, it just makes it so much harder for me to like make healthy choices during the week. So I just try and like set up myself for success by doing this and it like doesn't take that long. It's pretty easy to do. It just takes a little bit of time and effort. If you struggle to eat healthy, I just suggest you don't even have to do big old meal preps like eating the same thing every single day. You don't have to do that. But I think just having healthier options available, like readily available for you to like throw together and make an easy meal. I just find it's really a simple thing to do that makes my life a lot easier. So um, I hope it is helpful, a helpful tip for you guys as well. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you wanna see other video ideas like this, please leave them in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Love y'all.